fourth in MLS, currently led by Denny Buanga. Nine goals and 11 goal contributions. That's best in MLS right now. How much pressure does this midfield put on the back line of LAFC? Are you going to sit and allow them to possess, or are you going to chase the game a little bit? Carlos Vela, who has been so important to this team's success, including his historic year in 2019. Meanwhile, Johnny Russell in Sporting Kansas City looking to keep the good vibes rolling after winning two straight in MLS play. As Armando Villarreal gets us underway, we invite you to turn off the world. It's the second start of the season for Jakubovic, the 38-year-old from Bosnia and Herzegovina. As LAFC cooking something up on the other end. Apoku lays it off. It's Bawanga on the first time! It really is his world, and we're all just living in it. It's another tally for Denny Bawanga. And LAFC take a 1-0 lead. How fast they can go from one end to the other. You've got a front line in a Poku making the diagonal into the corner. Simple corner run. Get to the byline, cut it back across. The nine on the penalty mark. What's interesting is the delay by Denny Bowanga. How many players would have tried to crash the near post on this run instead? Some are certainly going to question whether or not Kendall McIntosh should have been able to get down in time, but the fact remains that Bowanga put a lot of heat behind that strike. And now here's a Poku looking for a second. McIntosh off of his line, able to make the play, and it looked like it came off of a Poku as well. I just watched the recovery here from Kendall McIntosh. Poor ball coming back across that you don't usually hear coming off of Eric Tommy's foot, but smart. Bowanga making a streaking run up the middle of the field. Sifuenta is trying to pick it out. It's a beautiful ball for the Frenchman. Bowanga. Denny Bowanga that close to a second. He is an absolute menace. It is quite amazing the runs that he's bringing here because watch him just drift right in between the back line and then how clever to cut this thing back across. Nine times out of ten. Striker trying to put this on their left foot. Instead, he proves he is fallible. A little bit of brute press here from Sporting Kansas City. And they're able to win it back. It's Polito. Voltaire around one. Now Johnny Russell. Russell still with it. Going for goal. And Johnny Russell has leveled the score. Out of absolutely nothing and a repress, the skipper who hails from Scotland able to beat Eldon Jakubovic. We're level at one. And watch as he comes. That touch right there. The cut back across, dragging Aaron Long with him. Aaron Long gets caught a little bit flat-footed as he tries to go. The player doesn't pass. Instead, you get it on the preferred left foot. And at this point, Russell's just trying to threaten the goalkeeper. Stick something on frame and give himself an opportunity, even on a rebound, for Sporting to get back into this instead. Buwanga, a gamble from Jake Davis, and he lost. Might pay a big price. What a save for McIntosh. This time he's able to do it. Overall tenacity for LAFC found themselves chasing a little bit compared to what we saw in the opening 15 minutes for the home team. Sporting come again. It's Voltaire going for goal and he just yanks it wide. And the difference is here is you look, your outside back comes really high and then all of a sudden as Seri Palencia drops, nobody steps in. Tillman had come to the left side. I still make the argument. So I actually think maybe you might expect to see them back off a little bit. I'm not saying that that's the right thing to do, but if I had to guess that they're going to step off a little bit and see whether or not LAFC is going to apply some of the pressure that saw them advance eight or nine at times, 40 yards from net against Sporting. Sporting Kansas City started out the season without a win in their first 10. They've won two in league play. In addition to bowing out, as this is an awkward one, and Kendall McIntosh needed to make a save off of his own teammates' poor clearance off of a wild play. Friendly reminder, we saw this early on in the first half. They were scrambling, and it comes down to communication and the rotation off the ball, neither of which happens, because even you got... Well, now here comes the human plank behind the wall, and Eric Tommy has that responsibility. It's Vela! And McIntosh was left scrambling yet again. Notice him cheat just a little bit. That slight hesitation to his right by Kendall McIntosh. Give him credit that he's trusting his wall and the player down on the field. Shallowy. Got away from Maldonado. Shallowy going for goal. Jakubovic had to parry it away. The Hungarian really had some bite behind that strike. Surprised we haven't seen a little bit more of this from Daniel Shallowy. The willingness with both of the inverted wingers and Johnny Russell. Duenas for Sifuentes or Daz. Got the back heel away from Bogush. One more. 
It's Holling's head, and it's in! That might just be the game winner! And it's the substitute, Ryan Holling's head, who sets BMO Stadium on fire in the 85th minute. More importantly, they've reset the line higher. Notice all the players readily available. But as the ball continues to drift, much like Johnny Russell in the first half, this time, it's Holling's head. All the way from the right-hand side, just looking for the little flick on, he gets it. An overcommittal from the substitute, Johnny's, allows the progression to take full shape. Hold the phone. We've got a VAR check. Armando Villarreal will head over to the monitor. And then the touch back through when you come high in Ordaz. Would make the argument for both of them to be fair. I think, I think Black Gold touches it. No goal. Offside. Celebrations from Sporting. They have renewed life. And LAFC will have to go again to try to find their game winner. A free foot being a nuisance. Lays it off for Gotti Kinda. Jonis. Finding daylight, Nakapovic makes the save. Kidna was there and somehow lost his footing when the moment asked the most of him. And then the foul committed by Shallowy, and that's going to be a yellow card as well. Croatian finding the homegrown product, Duenas. Now Sifuentes. In for Ordaz. Now here's Buke, McIntosh off of his line, and he's able to collect. First up by Kendall McIntosh. This is some kind of ball in by Jose Cifuentes, beautiful first touch. And Peter Vermees desperately urging his side to get numbers back behind the ball. And that's gonna do it full time. A hotly contested midweek fixture between the reigning champs and a rejuvenated sporting Kansas City side ends in a 1-1 draw.